All right, we love, baby. We love, baby. We love, baby. Let me turn down this TV. Let me turn down this TV. We love, baby. We're going to talk about how to build an online business. Take out your notepad. Take out your iPhones. Whatever you need to save this information so that you could come back to it, you might want to do that. You might just want to save this information and apply it. Let me turn this shit down. This shit is still kind of loud. We can't have that. We can't have that shit fucking up the class that's in session right now. You know what I'm saying? So you already know this is John Belcher, a.k.a. Jadis Crete. Once again, Jadis Crete is my stage name because I also make hip-hop music. So there's a lot of people looking for ways to work from home. There's a lot of people out there in the world looking for ways to work remote now more than any other time in history. I think ever since the pandemic, people realized that it's important to have more than just one income stream. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think the pandemic taught us that nobody's really safe. And at any given moment, shit could hit the fan. And once shit hit the fan, we got to adjust, you know, survival of the fucking fittest, baby. Survival of the fittest. So the beauty of learning how to build an online business is that you have the ability to make money in your sleep. You have the ability to work when you want to work. And you could just basically call the shots. So let's focus on the terminology that we're really talking about in this video right here. Because I'm going to give it to you raw. I'm going to give it to you straight. No bullshit. You come to my channel. My channel is only about real shit. No dodo bird shit is going to be shared on my channel. No false information will be shared on my channel. We ain't doing that. You feel me? So how to build an online business. I think the key word in that question is build. A lot of people think making money online, building an online business is just about just pushing one button and watching the money just fall from the sky, fall from the heavens into their lap. But that's not how to build an online business. When you focus on the word build, what build implies is some kind of steady growth and some some kind of steady discipline taking place that's allowing you to get further along in business. The word build means to add on to over time. <laughs> so when you ask the question how to build an online business, a lot of the answer is in the question. You feel me? How to build an online business. You know, like for real. The first step is the question that I would ask you if you want to build an online business is what do you want to sell? That's the first question I'm going to ask you because any business has to have something that is offering people. You have to have something to offer people. So what are you selling? What are you offering people? What is it that you're going to share with the world in exchange for income? That's what we what we call a transaction. When you go to the store, you see something you like, you see something you want, or you see something you need, and you give the store money in exchange for that product, service, that item, that good that you want. So in the world, in the on in the online world, shit is the same, baby. Shit is the same, baby. In the online world. Shit is the same, baby. So what do you want to sell? That's number one. What are you good at? What are your What are your strengths? Are there any companies that you want to align yourself with? Do you want to sell another company's products? How do you want to make the money? 
That's number one. So how to build an online business. What is it that you're selling? Are you selling clothes? Are you selling a makeup line that you have? What are you, what are you selling? Is it a skincare product? That's number one is what are you selling? Years ago, I was in this company and I was doing affiliate marketing. And what we were selling was we were selling information, training products. We were selling a blog that people could use to market and expose their business in order to make money. I was doing that years ago. I don't do that anymore. What I now offer and what I now sell is still teachings, still coaching, still a training program. But what I'm now selling is music. I make music, right? So I sell my music and offer my music to people who are interested in hip hop music, people who like good music, people who like conscious music, people who like upbeat music, timeless music. That's who I sell. That's what I sell. Another thing that I also sell is I also sell train a training program called the 300 to Freedom Training Program. Who is that product meant for? The 300 to Freedom Training Program is meant for people who want to learn exactly what to do in order to make consistent sales using the internet. So people just like you watching this video, the 300 to Freedom program, what it does is it teaches you how to build yourself a fan base, how to build yourself a leads list, how to build a relationship and rapport with the core audience. And people get to see what you're offering. They like what you're offering and they like, yo, I want to get started. So that training program teaches you how to do that step by step, how to market yourself, how to get yourself out there, how to brand yourself how to get the word out there about who you are, how to get people to see how you can help them about your services. But one of the most important things that the 300 to Freedom program does is it really teaches you how to be disciplined. Because in when you ask how to build an online business and we focus on the word build, what we're really talking about when we look at the word build is we're really talking about Something where you're going to be disciplined, something where you're going to work on it day by day and you're going to build it brick by brick until you have a tall ass skyscraper reaching the fucking skies, you know, but it's a daily action, a, a daily action steps that you have to follow in order to have success in the online business. So what are you selling? That's number one is what are you selling? Uh, and number two, mo very important, very, very important is your mindset, the way that you think, the knowledge that you have, very important, uh, your self-esteem. Do you believe in yourself? Because no matter what endeavor, no matter what thing you decide to do in life, you got to believe you can do it first. That is required all the time. If you don't believe you can do something, if you don't have and I can spirit where it's like, yo, I know I can do this. I know I can accomplish this. I know I have what it takes. I know I'm worthy of more. I know I'm worthy of making more, generating more, creating more. I know I'm worthy of becoming smarter. I know I'm worthy of, if, if you don't feel worthy of building an online business, it's going to be very, very hard to do. It's going to be even more challenging than it already is if you don't believe in yourself. So that's why mindset plays a big role in it. When you see, when you're disciplined and you're taking action on a daily basis, or you take an action on a weekly basis, or you take an action, however you do it, but when you're disciplined and taking that action, now that's when you're going to see things start to grow. That's when the building process starts to take shape. And you start to manifest the traffic that you want. You start to manifest the emails that you want. You start to manifest the listeners that you want. You start to manifest the viewers that you want. You start to manifest the people that you need to come into your circle to make your goals a reality, to make your dreams a reality. This shit ain't rocket science, y'all. This shit really ain't rocket science. This shit ain't rocket science. <laughs> The shit is not rocket science. 
give me a thumbs up like this video if you like what i'm sharing so far in this video we're talking about how to build an online business drop a comment below let me know how you feel about the value that i'm sharing in this video so far let me know your insights on how to build an online business if you're currently building an online business if there's anything that you're currently struggling with drop a comment below is there anything specific to online businesses that you want me to discuss just drop a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification button so that you could be notified whenever i make new videos 300 to freedom baby we going to the fucking top we going to the fucking top <laughs> we going to the top you know it's not rocket science so once you've identified something that you want to sell and that thing that you sell it doesn't have to be a tangible product it can be something that you're gifted in it could be a talent it could be you're a comedian it can be you have a lot of knowledge in a certain area and you share that with the marketplace online and just from that you'll be able to build a large audience of people who want to follow you so it doesn't always have to be like a physical product like this remote right here is a physical product you know uh this cell phone right here is, is a physical product but it doesn't always have to be a physical product that you're selling you could sell something that you're just knowledgeable in or you're talented in or it could be a service so th there's so many different things online that you can align yourself with but only you would know best what fits you only you would know best what fits your personality what fits your lifestyle only you're going to know about that but you have to know what it is you want to sell once you get clear on that then you believe in yourself you got to have those things those are prerequisites to making and and how to build an online business now any online business you're talking about right how to build an online business when it comes to any online business when it comes to any online business baby i'm, I'm telling you straight up when it comes to any online business you gotta have people i don't know if you saw my last video but in my last video i was talking about how money comes from people so you need people to see what it is you're selling i don't think that's that's rocket science i think that's pretty straightforward you know what i mean like that's pretty uh common sense when i used to be a part of that company years ago i, I was a comp i was a part of a couple different companies to be honest with you and that's how i learned the stuff that i'm sharing with you in this video today is from my experience being with companies and these companies that i was with the reason why i joined these companies is because these companies were the companies that were teaching me how to market and this is how i know what i know today this is why i'm knowledgeable in the area of how to make money online and how to build an online business is through me being affiliated with certain products in the past and certain courses those courses taught me step by step about the importance of you know email marketing the importance of consistency the importance of discipline you know the importance of learning and getting good at a traffic source i learned all of this from the past companies that i was a part of so while i was a part of these past companies i was also learn i was learning but i was also earning at the same time so i was learning from the products that i was selling to other people you know but essentially no matter what it is if you want to build an online business you need people you need people you need people you need more and more people you need as much people as possible you could never have enough people there will never be a day where a company is going to say oh no we closed our doors we don't want any more customers buying our product there's never going to be a fucking drug dealer out there in the street that's gonna say oh no i no longer want you to buy my marijuana from me go to somebody else there's never gonna be a day like that there's never gonna be a day when a person who does hair who works at a hair salon is gonna say to her clientele please stop coming please stop coming to the fucking shop because 
I no longer want to do here. I, I don't want to make any more money. That day will never come. So you need people and you need more and more and more and more people. You always need people. How to build an online business is you got to get in front of people. And the, the best kind of people to get in from, get in front of, the best kind of people to get in front of are the people who are most likely in need or want what you have to offer. That's as simple as it gets. Who are the people who will most likely want what it is you have to offer? That, that's, that's the simplest way I could explain it. But you're going to need people. We're talking about how to build an online business, y'all. We're talking about how to build an online business. So you're going to need people. So if you're going to need people, the way that you're going to be able to help people is by showcasing your skills or your products or your services or whatever it is that you have to offer. You're going to need a place to house and showcase what you're offering people. It's not rocket science. So what you're going to need is some kind of website. You're going to need some kind of place where people can go to see more of you, to get to learn more about you, to, to learn more about your clothes you got for sale, to see more of your content that you have. It doesn't really matter, but you're going to need a website so that when people come to your website, it looks official and people's like, yo, all right. I can rock with this person. You know, I, I can join this person. I can buy from this person. This person got it. They got their whole website set up. They're very clear on how they can help me. They're showing their products. They're showing their services. When people see your website, they're going to take you more seriously. As long as that website looks nice, as long as that website is a, a nice, beautiful website where people, it's user friendly, it's modern, you know, clean, a clean, nice interface. People are gonna need a, a website to go to. They gotta. They they're gonna, they gonna need a house to go to to see what you got going on, baby. I don't think this shit is. You know, don't be a dodo bird and think, oh, I don't need no website. I don't want no website. Don't be a dodo bird. So if you don't have no website, how are people gonna go to that button to buy from you? <laughs> if you don't need no website, then how are people gonna go to that button to purchase from you? How? If you if you don't have no website, it's not rocket science. It's very simple. Me personally, I have a number of websites. I have a number of web websites personally. My most recent website that I created is called is www.jadiscrete.com. That's my most recent website, www.jadiscrete.com. I would recommend you go to that website right now if you want to check it out www.jaydiscrete.com. I have another website where it's just really a blog site and also another way that you could get connected with me and learn how to make money online. And that website is workwithjohnbelcher.com. www.workwithjohnbelcher.com. But I ain't lying to you. This is what it is, baby. You got to have a place where people can go to get to know more about you, know more about what you got going on. You know, you can't be afraid. You can't be that incognito, oh, I'm going to hide behind the bushes kind of marketer. If you if you want to build a business online, you automatically are a marketer. Just just assume the position as a marketer, embrace this game and, and get and do do what you need to do. Do what you need to do. So you're going to need a website. You're going to need a place for people to see, yo, you know, now if you want to learn how to build a website, you don't know how to build a website. I have a service where I can get a web, a, a nice website built for you. I could get you a very nice website built for you if you need a website, but a website is important because people need a place to go to, to see what you about, see what you offering, look at what you got going on, you know? So how to build an online business, you know, th there's certain things that are universal that everybody's going to need. And that's a website. You got to be disciplined. You got to have something that you're selling. And the next thing is you got to build an email list. You got to build 
So, so you're going to have people who come to your website, right? People going to be coming to your website because you, you know, maybe you're in my training program and you're learning how to do this stuff. You're learning how to market yourself. You're learning how to get out there. Hold on one second. Yeah, the TV just did some wild shit just now. So I'm just making sure it's continue playing. I like to have the little visual in the background. But yeah, like when people when people come to your website, you need to have you need to have a way where you can collect information from those visitors. You're gonna have people who come to your website, they're gonna like what your website has on it, and they're gonna want they're gonna wanna become what's called a subscriber. Speaking of subscriber, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like the value that I've been bringing. Drop a comment below and give me a thumbs up if you like what I've been talking about lately. We, we talking about some real shit on this channel. You know what I mean? We're talking about some real knowledge, you know? I know dodo birds out there. We got some people out there who like to be fucking dirt bags and they don't really like to have information at their fingertips. You got people out there who like to live life in the dark. They like to live life uh, either feeling like they know everything or not wanting to learn shit and they un they wonder why they in the same position year after year. They wonder why, you know, they got to fucking give all their time and energy away to a boss and they can never boss up themselves. And a lot of times it's because people don't like knowledge. That's what it is. People don't like knowledge. And when people don't like knowledge, they suffer for it. You know, when people don't like knowledge, they suffer for it. That's what happens. People suffer when they don't learn. It's either you know, it's either you're gonna learn fast and live a prosperous life, or you ain't gonna learn at all and you're gonna live a life of suffering. That's just how this shit works. Because the way this life is set up, the way this world is set up, it's a it's a world where the people who have the information and the people who are in the know, all they do is take advantage of the dodo birds who don't have the information and who don't have knowledge. They they take advantage of those people and just keep sucking them dry. So that's how the rich keep getting richer and the poor stay poor is because a lot of people out there, most of the world, they like to be stupid. They don't want to learn shit. They don't want no knowledge. They don't want to invest in themselves. They don't want to get stuff in. They don't want to put shit in their brain. They just want to have big mouths and small ass brains. So if you want to have a big mouth and a small ass brain, what's going to happen is, yeah, you talking all this shit, but you don't have nothing to back it up. You know, you got people out there, they got these big mouths and they got these little ass brains and they just talking shit every day, but they ain't really moving the needle. They ain't taking action. They ain't starting a business. They're not building a business. You know, I have respect for anybody out there who wakes up every morning and they try, they give it their all. I have respect for people who wake up every morning and they go hard at what it is they say they want. I got respect for people like that who wake up every morning with the dream on the forefront of their mind and they focus on that dream and they keep going for that dream no matter what tries to come in their way. The, the, people like that, to me, those are the chosen ones that no matter how much life tries to beat them up, they still wake up in the morning and they still try again. They still wake up in the morning and they still go hard at what, what it is they want to accomplish. Those are the type of people I fuck with. I don't want people around me who just fucking lazy as hell and they, they want a handout and they don't want to gain no knowledge. They don't want to learn shit. They don't want to do shit. They don't want to be shit. You don't want to be around people like that. The 300 to freedom movement, we, we, we ain't get, we ain't have no kind of people around. And if you feel like you that kind of person where you lazy as shit, you, 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 you want more knowledge, but you want to change. All right, I could rock with you. I could fuck with you. I could be in business with you. I could teach you something. I could learn from you. I could grow with you. But if you're a person who you, you feel you know everything, but you ain't really doing shit, your mouth is big, but your brain is small, we can't work. We can't work together. We can't work together. We uh, Get out of my face. I don't want to hear you. I don't want, I don't want to hear what you talk about. But, but, you know, my kings and queens out there, they get into that money. You know, they, they bossing up. They improving their lifestyles and they build in their business day by day, brick by brick. They don't care what's in the way. They don't have no excuses. You get to the point in life where you you realize you can't afford no excuses because that's that that excuse shit is only is some bitch ass shit. That excuse shit is that's that dodo bird stuff. You know what I'm saying? So how to build a business online. Once you have your website, you're going to need a way to collect information from the visitors who come to your website. Because that information that you collect from the visitors that come to your website, they'll become 
your, your, your fan base. They become your core audience. They become your leads list. And these, be, these are the people that are your potential customers. In the last video, I was talking about potential customers. The people who subscribe and they subscribe to what you got going on, they become your potential customers. Make sure to share this video, like this video, drop a comment below if you feel what I'm saying in this video. I'm gonna tell you straight what it is and I'm not gonna be apologetic about it, you know what I mean? Because I want I want people to win. I want you to win. I want you to get to the top. I want you to know what it is, what the truth is. A lot of people out there, they, they try to keep you in the dark and, and sell you bullshit, sell you a dream. I ain't here to sell you bullshit. I ain't here to sell you a dream. It takes hard work to be successful in any field. It takes hard work to be successful in any field. It takes hard work to be successful in any field. Show me a field. I'm gonna show you the hard worker who's making it happen. We ain't on that bitch ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Not in the 300 to freedom. Right now I'm working on a book. That book is gonna change millions of people's lives. That book is going to change millions of people's lives. When that book goes on Amazon, people are going to buy it and their lives are going to be changed the minute they open up that first cover. The minute they grab the book. Let me see if I got a book over here. Right? This ain't the book, but the minute they go like this, they grab the book. And the minute they go like this, the minute they go like this, their whole life is going to fucking change when that book drops. The minute the person goes like this, you see, you see, you see the door of the book turn? You see the door of the book? Look at the door of the book. When I sell, when I put my book on Amazon, the minute people go like this, their life is gonna change. The minute they go like this, their life is gonna change. That's what's gonna happen when I drop this book. I'm telling you, when I drop this book, that's what's gonna happen. Their life is gonna change. The minute they open up that first, I call it. It's like a door, right? It's like the book. the 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 front cover of the book is like a door. When they open up the door, they open up a world of possibilities. When they open up that book, my book, when it drops on Amazon. So how to build an online business. Once you got your website up, it's looking good. Now all you're doing is you're adding on to it. You're adding on to the things that you have in place. You're adding on to your email list. You're adding content to your website. You're adding, maybe you're doing photo shoots. You're adding new photo shoots to your website, showing, showcasing your clothes, showcasing your books showcasing your albums. It doesn't matter what it is that you're selling. It don't matter. There's certain things that's universal. Uh, showcasing your content, you're adding on. Once you get, see, when you come to building an online business, you got to set the foundation first. I'm telling you what the foundation is that you got to set for yourself. And then once the foundation is set, then after that, what you're doing is you're just building and building and building and building and building and building and building. Once the foundation is set, you're building and building and building and building. That's how it works. That's how it works. That's how to build an online business. And you keep going, you keep going, you keep taking action because you're disciplined. You believe in yourself and you're disciplined. So whether it's a slow day where you're not making any sales or it's a slow week where you're not making any sales, you're still staying disciplined. You still got to make take action. You still got to wake up in the morning and, and go after it as if you already have the customer base that you want. You can't be waking up in the morning like, oh, I didn't make no sales today, man. Oh, I, I don't think I don't think I have what it takes. Nah, fuck that. You got to even if it's a slow week, even if it's a slow day, you got to ignore the fact that you may not have made sales and you got to keep taking action. You got to stay disciplined. You got to stay focused because when you take action and you stay disciplined and you stay focused, what happens is that moment comes and it's like, boom. And then all of a sudden the traffic starts to come in. The, the, the emails start to come in. The sales start to come in. The people who, who want to be a part of your movement start to come in. Everything starts to move fast. It seems like, you know, you know, you ever heard the saying it takes 10 years or five years to become an overnight success. You ever heard that it takes 10 years or 20 years to become an overnight success. It's because when you're building in the process of building, when you're first starting out, it could feel like nothing is happening. You could be there scratching your head like, yo, when am I going to get my first sale? 
when am I going to get my first customer? But something in you has got to keep you going. Something in you got to keep you disciplined. Something in you got to keep you on track. Because when you continue to take action and you continue to take action, and you continue to take ha action, what happens one day is all of the action that you've been taking, it starts to compound. And then boom, all of a sudden, sales start to come into your bank account. All of a sudden, people are hitting you up, reaching out to you. They want you to come talk at their auditorium. They want you to come talk at you know their school. They want you to talk in public. They want you to perform at a certain venue now. You know, people reaching out to you now because they seeing your music. They hearing your music. They hearing what you got going on. They liking what you're doing. They watching your movements. They like the action you take. And now people are calling your phone. People are emailing you. People are messaging you on Facebook. People are messaging you on Instagram. People are coming to you. People are seeking you because they want what you have to offer. And now instead of it feeling like you're climbing up the steps, now it feels like you're sliding down a slide of riches. How to build an online business. You can't be on no bitch ass shit. That should be the first thing I should have said at the beginning of this video. You want to know how to build an online business? You can't be on no bitch ass shit. And I should have just, <laughs> I should have just X'd out the video after I said that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that would have, that would have triggered you enough to understand what I'm saying, but this ain't this ain't for the weak. This ain't for the people who you you can't just stick your big toe in the water and think you're gonna learn how to swim. You can't do that. Like you can't just stick your big toe in the water and think you're gonna learn how to swim. Nah, you gotta fully dive in. You gotta fully immerse yourself into the water to become great at what it is you want to be great at. So how to build an online business? The key word in that question is build. Build, which means that you're not gonna just wake up tomorrow morning and be rich. When you see the word build, what it should insinuate within you is that it's a, it's a progressive build. It means progressive, means something being added on, means momentum being added every single day until something becomes bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. When you say build a house, when you say build a car, you're essentially starting with just one brick. You're starting with one part. Anything you build, you start with one piece. And then you add on to that piece, anything you build. So don't, I don't know if, if you thought I was going to tell you some bullshit and lie to you and tell you it's going to be like you hit the lottery and overnight you're going to be rich. No, I'm not going to fucking tell you that because I know that's a fucking lie and that's bullshit. And in my training program, I don't teach people bullshit. I teach people the real shit that's going to work forever. I teach people the shit that's going to keep them disciplined, that's going to keep them driven to have success. That's what I teach in the 300 to Freedom program. We ain't doing that dodo bird shit. All that dodo bird stuff, man, it is not cool. There's a lot of people in the online space, and I'm not gonna say no names. That's their business, but they try to they try to talk about making money online or they try to show off their money, show off their riches, and they showing off their riches, but they're not telling people the truth of what it takes to actually accumulate that money. And that's the problem that I have with a lot of people online. They're not being real when it comes to what it actually takes to build an online business. And it takes knowledge. It takes understanding. And then you, you take that knowledge and you put it into practice. But it takes time before the process. You get good at the process. It takes time before you get good at the process. It takes time before you get good at the process. It doesn't matter what build what business you build in. The, there are some universal steps that you got to take to build an online business. There's some universal steps, but essentially what I would imagine that you want is you would want people coming to you to buy from you. I would think that's what you want. You would want to wake up in the morning to people messaging you. You would want to wake up in the morning to people emailing you. You would want to wake up in the morning to people who, who just went to, the, to your website on their own and just made a purchase and you got money in your bank account in the morning. I would think that's what you want. But in order to get to that point, there's a process that you have to commit to in order to get to the point where you're waking up in the morning and you got people messaging you, people hunting you down, hunting you down to buy what you have to offer. But that takes time. That takes 
commitment, that takes discipline, that takes belief, that takes drive, that takes waking up in the morning, even though it's a bad day, even though you didn't make sales, you're still disciplined. You're still motivated. That's what it takes. It ain't going to take no bitch ass shit. It's not. You know what I'm saying? It's not. Make sure to drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this. I'm giving it to you straight up. I'm giving it to you raw. Pause. Drop a comment. Give me a like. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel because when you do all of that, it really helps YouTube to push my video out there and, and it gets the algorithm going. You know what I'm saying? But this is John Belcher, a.k.a. Jadis Creep. You know, uh, all you got to do is search the name Jadis Creep on all digital music streaming platforms and you'll be able to hear my music and hear what I'm talking about on beats. You feel me? Maybe one of these days I'll actually just play my song in the background while doing uh, one of these videos. But yeah, like how to build an online business. This is what it takes. So what are some ways that you can build more people? One way, and 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 I would recommend this way, uh, uh, I think it's very important, is if you want to be online and you want to have a successful business that's online, then you got to be online, <laughs> right? It's not, that that makes sense, I would think, right? I hope that makes sense. You got to be online. So what is online that a lot of people come to? What are some things online that a lot of people come to? Well, number one, something that a lot of people come to is social media websites. So you should be on these social media websites where a lot of people are on these social media websites. You got Instagram, you got TikTok, you got Facebook, you got YouTube, you know what I'm saying? You got different uh, social media websites that you can utilize and be consistent on these websites. You don't have to use all of them. You don't have to use all of them. I've seen people get rich off of just one. People get a lot of money off of just mastering one social media website, off of just getting a lot of traffic from one social media website. It's not necessarily the social media website. It's more so what you do with the traffic you're getting on the social media website. So when you're getting new friends or you're getting new followers, how do you manage those followers? Are you monetizing those followers? Are you sending those followers to your website? Because that's what I would recommend. I would recommend you get followers from, you use these social media websites, but you use it to get followers back to your website to, to so that they can see what you're doing. From there, they should have a way to be able to subscribe to you so that later on they become a customer and buy from you. That's how this shit works. That's how this shit works. And the more followers you get on social media websites and the more you showcase yourself and you showcase your talents, you showcase your skills, the more people find you and the more people buy from you and so on and so forth. And now you got something that's working for you. Now you're finally building an online business. Toast to your success. Toast. <laughs> Toast to the hundred thousand dollars you about to make. Toast to the five hundred thousand dollars you about to make. Toast to the million dollars you're about to make. Don't be no dodo bird. If you don't like knowledge, I'm not the person for you to partner up from. I'm not the person for you to partner up with. If you don't like knowledge, I'm not the person for you to come hit up to get in part of my training program. I'm not that person. If you don't really care for knowledge and you don't like getting getting more intelligent and you don't like having information, I'm not the person you should hit up. I'm not the person you should get with. I'm just letting you know, go to somebody else. Go to somebody else. My training costs money. I'm going to be real with you. My training program costs money because it's valuable. My training program costs money because it's valuable. There's a one-time fee you could pay or there's a lower monthly monthly fee you could pay. It's up to you. 
and I'm constantly updating the training program every single week. And and I just dropped that ebook. You already know my musicians out there who've been subscribing. And I just dropped that ebook. I just dropped that ebook teaching independent music artists how to build a fan base online using the internet. You know, so we shit is that ebook is fire. That ebook is crazy. It's fire, a hundred percent free of charge, a hundred percent free of charge for that ebook. And I'm working on a book still. So look, look, don't hate the player, hate the game. Don't 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 hate the player. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad at me. We going to the top, baby. Three hundred to freedom movement. We going to the top, baby. Don't be mad at me for dropping the gems. Don't be mad at me for being real with the people. I got to be real with the people. Don't be mad at me for telling the truth. You know what I mean? I, yo. Yo, we ain't on that dodo bird shit. We ain't on we ain't on that. You got we got to keep it real with the people. The 300 to freedom movement, we moving baby. We moving. We we giving the real knowledge to to the people. And once you have that knowledge, you're going to be able to act on that knowledge and you're going to be able to benefit from that knowledge, point blank, period. The reason why we have so many have nots in this world versus the elite people who are making all the money and there's such a wide gap between the have nots and the people who are rich is because of information. It's because of information. That's all it is. It's because of information. It's because of information. And if you if you ignorant enough to think that the the people at the top who getting all the money don't don't have information that you don't have access to or that you don't have or you're not getting access to, to think that they don't have information that you don't have, you'd be delusional. You you'd be you'd be like the number one dodo bird of all dodo birds to think that to really think like yo, the people who are rich who are elite. Don't get me wrong. Some of them are fucked up people and they do fucked up shit. But at the end of the day, these people be a part of certain secret societies where they have access to information that the masses do not have access to. And the reason why there's a separation and there's a disparity of information is because they know that if the masses don't have this information, they can continue to take advantage of the masses and continue to get richer and richer from the masses. So it always is going to always come down to one thing, and that's information. Dodo birds don't like to get information. They don't like to learn. It's sad, but a lot of people, especially in my community, especially where I come from, people don't like to learn. People don't like to grow. They like to stay in the same fucking box, in the same fucking place, and just, you know, you know, wonder why, oh, why is this not changing? Why is my life not improving? Why is why am I not making more money? Well, are you fucking doing anything to improve your life? Are you take are you learning anything new? Are you doing anything new in your life to be able to change it? Because if you don't change shit about your life, ain't shit about your life gonna change. It's not that hard to understand. If you if you wanna be a fucking NBA player and you want to be just as great as Kobe Bryant, but you ain't practicing as much as Kobe Bryant was practicing, then why the fuck would you expect to be as great as Kobe Bryant? I mean, it's real simple to understand, you know, like it's it's not rocket science. If you want to be shooting like Steph Curry and you don't want to be going to the gym shooting as much threes, if you don't want to be going to the gym doing the shit that Steph Curry does, then don't expect to be as great as Steph Curry when it comes to shooting threes. It's real simple. People like to complicate simple shit. I I don't understand that mindset. You know, I'm not into complicating simple shit because anytime in life where I see a motherfucker complicating some simple shit, I know that either that motherfucker is just delusional or they get attention from complicating simple shit. Like, what, what part of this do are we not getting with certain shit? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it's easy to build an online business. That's not what I'm saying. I know it's challenging. I know it's hard. But at the same time, it's like at least be learning what you need to learn. At least be taking action. At least be taking, at least be disciplined before you talk shit about what's not changing in your life. At least do something that's going to change your life. At least invest in something. Because otherwise, if you don't change nothing, nothing's going to change. 
Don't be a fucking dodo bird. Don't be the person that's banging your head against the wall, wondering why this and that is not happening. When you look at the past week and you ain't really did shit, you ain't work on shit, and you ain't building shit. So just, you know, like, let, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. If you're building a house, the first thing to build in the house, it starts with one brick. It starts with one brick. It starts with one piece of wood to build a house. It starts with one first. 300 to freedom, baby. 300 to freedom, baby. Jadis Creek. John Belcher, man. I mean, I mean, shit. I mean, I mean, let me know in the comments. Is there anything that I'm saying in, in here like that that don't make sense? That's like, oh, you know, that shit don't make sense what he's saying. Let me know. I want to know. I want to know. Drop a comment. If there's something I'm saying that don't make sense, it's not clicking with you. It's like, you know, you really got to think about it and you really got to like pull out your calculator and you really got to study and, and try to understand what I'm saying. Let me know. If it's difficult to understand, let me know. How to build an online business. Yes, you got to work. You got to put the work in. You got to put the work in. But if you need services, I got that on my website, jadiscrete.com. You go to services, the services section, and I'll be able to provide you with whatever services that I have available. Website building, capture page building. Why is this important? Because if you don't have a place for potential customers to see what you're doing, to see what you're selling, then you can't expect to make sales because people don't see what you're doing. They, you need more people to see you. The purpose of marketing is so that more people can see you. That's why you market. You market so that more people can see you. That's why you learn how to market. You learn how to market so that more people can see you. That's the whole purpose. It's for exposure. It's for exposure. It's for exposure. You can do it. You can do it if you really want to do this shit, man. Like, you really want to do this shit. You can do it. You can make, you can make a lot of money online. You can build a business online. If you really want to do it, you can do it. The money is there. How to build an online business. You need people. How to build an online business. You need people. Why do you need people? You need people because money comes from people. Why do you need a product? Why do you need a service? Why do you need something to sell? You need something to offer to sell because that's what people are. That's what's going to create a transaction. People are going to give you money for that thing that they want from you. It could be a product, a service, it could be content, it could be anything. It could be an intangible product, it, it could be anything, an info product, anything. That's why I sell what I sell. I have an information product, I have music products, uh, a book that I'm working on now, so I have that as another product. The ebook that I have out right now, that's 100% free of charge, you know, but... I'm I'm just showing you how to lay out the foundation and then you build from there. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to get in contact with me, if you want to learn and work with me and learn how to build an online business, all you got to do is check out the links in the description below. Get connected with me. My Facebook link is on there. My Instagram link is on there. The ebook link is on there. Uh, my stage name is on there also. Everything, everything is in the description below. My my website, workwithjohnbelcher.com is on there. Uh, all this stuff is on there. Like, like I say, I keep all the stuff that I did in the past. You can go back to my old videos on YouTube and you'll see that I've worked with numerous companies in the past. Me working with those companies, none of it was in vain because I learned different things from working with those companies. 
you know, and, and essentially what I learned is no matter what company you're with, no matter what business you're affiliated with, there's certain universal principles that you have to apply to any business in order to have success. You know, there's so many different businesses selling different things in different industries, but the skill sets don't really change. The skill sets pretty much stay the same. The skill sets pretty much stay the same. You may adjust and you may make things more modern, but the skill sets on how to build an online business, it really stays the same. It, it doesn't really change. You know, branding is still important. It's still a very important piece to the puzzle. Branding, branding yourself, branding your products, branding your website, branding your logo, branding your thoughts, branding the way you think, all of that, you know, uh, but yeah, get with me, get in touch with me and we could build something on the 300 to freedom movement. I'm looking for more movers and shakers. I'm looking for people who, uh, believe in themselves and they have a dream and, and they hold that dream near and dear to their heart. You know what I mean? Like I'm looking for those kinds of people uh because growing up you know i didn't have a i didn't have a mentor i didn't have a person that i could call or hit up and ask questions you know um it would have made my learning curve a lot smaller and i would have had more more success sooner if i would have had a mentor somebody that just kind of took me under the wing and was like yo this is what you do starting out step by step this is what you do to build an online business i didn't have that you know what i'm saying like I had mentors, but mentors from a distance. I didn't really have people, a lot of people from, you know, I, I grew up in New York. That's This is my hometown is New York. And most of the people in New York, they don't really have online businesses. You know, a lot of people, they selling drugs on the street. A lot of people out here, you know, they, you know, or they scamming, they doing fraud. You know, a lot of people, they, they uh, or they just working a nine to five job, which is fine, which is cool. But for somebody like me, I always been an entrepreneurial type of person. I always wanted to, and I always did, not just want to, but I always did find ways to make do for myself and earn my own money. And to be honest with you, a lot of people around me, they're not on that type of time. They weren't on that type of time. So it's funny how today I'm actually that person who people could come to and ask questions about online business. So many people today, more than ever, want to learn how to start their own business, their own business online. So many people want to learn how to, you know, build their own list of potential customers. So many people today want to learn how to brand themselves and market themselves. And it's so interesting how I didn't have that growing up. I didn't have that mentor, but now I'm being that mentor to other people. You know, it's funny how life is. That's what I would say. It's just funny how life is, you know, but the people that I did learn from, from a distance, I appreciate those people. Those people who mentored me and they didn't even know they were mentoring me, I appreciate those people. But there's a difference from seeing somebody and from a distance as opposed to being able to hit them up directly, ask questions and get answers. And that person kind of, you know, groom you and tell you what to do and show you what to do. It's a difference. You know, when you have that person who have first hand experience in doing something, when you can hit that person up who has that first hand experience, it makes a world of difference. It makes a world of difference. You know, it really, really does. So that's really it. Y'all, uh, 300 to freedom movement, baby. We going to the top. Make sure to like this video, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Yeah, I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.